Have you heard the good news about the Nobel Peace Prize? This year, it wasn't awarded to a warmonger like Henry Kissinger, but to a wonderful group of Japanese survivors of the U.S. bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, a bombing that led to the death of over 200,000 people. These survivors, known as the Habakusha, have been traveling around the world for decades now, trying to teach people about the horrors of nuclear weapons. And in fact, they've been instrumental in getting a UN ban treaty in the United Nations that now has 73 countries that have signed on. Unfortunately, none of the nine nuclear countries have signed. In fact, they have been expanding and, quote, modernizing their nuclear weapons, especially the U.S. and Russia, that account for 95% of the world's nuclear weapons. Some of us had been advocating that this year's prize should go for the heroes in Gaza, like the doctors or the journalists or the relief agency UNRWA. But the head of the Japanese group made that connection for us. He said that he thought one of the groups in Gaza would win the prize. And he also said that looking at the pictures of people in Palestine, the parents clutching their mangled children, reminded him of what happened in Japan in 1945. So let's use this prize to celebrate the Habakusha, to call for a ban, an end to nuclear weapons, and an end to war whether it's the war in Ukraine, the war in Sudan, or Israel's genocide in Gaza. No nuclear weapons, no war.